Gospel according to John. He said to them again, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Christ is risen. So we sing hallelujah for he lives. Hallelujah. We praise the Savior King. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Are you in a relationship? Ako, I am. I am in a relationship with my wife Marge for more than 20 years now. She's the sweetest, loving, and caring person. I know her inside and out. She prays a lot. She loves uh, watching K-drama. She craves for Sans Revan. In her love language, she loves holding hands, hugs and kisses, our weekly dates, and receiving I love yous from me and my children. Knowing my wife makes me understand and meet her needs, just like in our relationship with Jesus. The question at the heart of the gospel today is, who are you? The audience of Jesus were either unable or unwilling to understand his teaching up to this point. Jesus is still revealing his identity, but he is also exploring the identity of those he is addressing. We cannot come to acknowledge Christ without understanding the truth of who he is and the truth of who we are. If we do not know who Jesus Christ is, we will not value him. If we will not recognize who we are, we will not grasp the greatness of our need. But if the two truths are grasped simultaneously, we see the glory of God in Jesus Christ and we understand that He is the only answer to our enormous need. We can take then the situations or the questions of St. Ignatius of Loyola in looking at the one who lifted up in the love of the Father for us. The questions are, what have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What ought I to do for Christ? Having a close and deeply rooted relationship with Jesus would stop us from asking Him, Who are you? Relationships developed through time being spent in the sharing of our stories, life experiences, dreams, our goals, our faults, even our incompetence and failure through loving and listening. In prayer, we deepen and and enliven our response to such great love. Our Bible reading and prayer time allow ourselves to soak in the mystery of the loving companionship of God. We understand Jesus in a deeper level. And the more you know that a person is of more value, we wish to hear them, especially when they speak to you on a personal level. This is the gift of faith operates in us and helps us to know Jesus more. Friends, Lent 
is an invitation to a deeper relationship with Jesus. What are you waiting for? Grab it now and shout to the world, I am in a relationship. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we are your sons and daughters, and we seek for your forgiveness for postponing and delaying to say yes in your numerous invitation. The invitation to be close to you, the invitation to have a deeper relationship with you. Today we declare that we love you and we entrust our lives to you. May we know you more. Lord Jesus, let your face shine upon us. This we pray in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.